What's going on, everybody? Oscar checking back in. I've had one hell of a month, a uh, month and a half, two months. It's just been absolutely bananas. I've got a lot of stuff that I've been working on for this channel, and I'm constantly trying to just have new content ready to go for you all. I wasn't sure if I was going to have something to drop for my last week, but the Chainsaw Man trailer dropped, and I was able to record a reaction to it and I'm really glad that I got to do that because I was really hoping to have this What You Should Read ready to go but I ended up having to go to Orlando for work and that kind of messed my plans up. Not that I'm complaining because I'm grateful as all hell to have to have work and to have a stable job and to have a good job at that and so I'm not complaining but well it ended up working out too because I was able to while I was in Orlando I recorded a video for the channel and that was the, the Barnes and Noble video that is now live on the channel as of this recording it's still not live i'm just kind of trying to get a bunch of stuff ready i'm gonna take my i'm gonna take next weekend off but you won't notice it because i'm still just because i have like three other videos lined up and ready to go but i'd recorded those videos before the other videos that i have recorded i had recorded before i rearranged so as you can see i kind of rearranged the background a bit this shelf used to be on this side and this shelf wasn't there at all Pretty much from like the beginning of this channel till now, like I've been doing so much rearranging of everything. But I like this setup now. I like this shelf here, you know, and I think it I think it looks really good. And this shelf behind me, I think it looks good there. And then that shelf, eventually, you know, if I, when I come into more manga and stuff, I'll replace this shelf here with one of these bigger shelves, and then probably put this probably put that shelf somewhere else. Yeah, I'm really happy with the way that everything's going. I like. The whole new setup here i'm happy with it i think that it's going to be you know beneficial for everything and then you can see some of the stuff that i've collected and i'm going to be doing a another um like just overall manga collection video uh coming up soon probably not till maybe like the end of the year because the last one i did i think i did in like january of uh this year so i'll probably do it in like december or january 23 so december 22 january 23 or something i'll do my next my next uh, overall collection video but that's not what we're, that's not why we're here so let's just get to the point i've wasted enough of your time wanting to talk about witches and uh, this story is incredible i have enjoyed every second of every single story in this collection and i know some of you when i did my um my last haul video i'd mentioned witches and you sh some of you showed ex showed interest in my opinions about witches so i don't want this to take too long to come out and i'm going to put this up before some of the other videos that i would recorded previously just to get my thoughts out on this and i hope that you enjoy this why you should read i'm gonna uh, say everything that i want to say there because I've already talked way too much in this intro. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Let's talk about witches. This manga isn't something I had great prior knowledge of, but a collection I just happened to happen upon. The title and book cover of Daisuke Igarashi's Witches instantly caught my attention, and I had to have it. Can't say if I pre-ordered this or ordered it later, but I did get a release month. It was supposed to sit on my shelf for a few weeks or a few months collecting dust until I felt like picking it up. However, some of my viewers began to show interest in my thoughts on this collection, so I expedited both reading this manga and dropping a video about it. Didn't think opening the pages to read the first lines of the first story that I'd become as enamored with it as I did. Witches is a masterwork, a true talent flexing their incredible writing chops and bringing to life beautiful, thought-provoking artwork. This same mangaka had previously worked on Children of the Sea, which was also lauded and probably overall more well-known than Witches. I haven't personally read Children of the Sea, but I am looking out for it, keeping an eye open. Should it cross my path, I'll definitely be picking it up. There is no thought whether this is a good anthology or not, it is 100% start to finish, gripping, beautiful, resonant, mesmerizing, and so many other words you choose to throw at it. Incredible artwork aside, what also helps to sell this series is the characters and dialogue. 
I've consumed enough Japanese media over my lifetime to be made aware of the fundamentally Japanese structure of most Japanese stories. More often than not, they're set in Tokyo and follow a down-on-his-luck man or teenage boy, sometimes new to town, oftentimes dejected, shut in. This is a real problem for the country, with many people, not just youths alone, becoming isolated from society, sometimes not leaving their apartments at all, or living literally inside gaming cafes. With no real emphasis on mental health care, where do people have to turn but inward? Many of the stories in manga and anime are inherently Japanese and offer little to no worldview, which is fine, they don't have to, they are made for Japanese people. One thing they do often do as well is they appeal and are made for a specific demographic, men. Witches takes that and throws it completely away, with five of the six stories being led by women. There is only one with a male lead, and it's probably the shortest story in the collection. Still, as I've said before, not one of the tales is a dud. No matter length or subject matter of the tales contained within, each is fantastic and worthy of being consumed. I'm not going to talk about every single story in this collection, but I do want to single out three of the six. I will avoid heavy spoilers, but will inevitably spoil some smaller bits. After all, it is difficult to convince someone to read something without explaining some part of it. So, let's do that. Let's talk about three of my favorite stories in this collection. First up are Spindle Parts 1 and 2. This story is essentially a revenge tale, but it's more of a childish tantrum carried out over a generation. There are two separate forces that make up the whole of this first section. Two beings whose lives must collide, even though the two are unaware of each other. There is a young girl, born of a tribal nomadic people, like the Romani, and she has visions. Visions which tell her she must travel into the city, which is a hundred or more miles away. When she gets there, she must seek someone out, for their fates are intertwined. This section was extremely well executed to the point where I felt I was looking at stills from a film, like a storyboard. On the other side of this equation is a woman who was shunned by her love interest as a girl and made to feel embarrassed, mocked. She devises to set a plan into motion to take bloody revenge on the man who shunned her and insulted her in doing so. Over her lifetime, she becomes absorbed by her lust for vengeance and becomes a powerful witch, replete with devastating sorceries at her command. She visits a decrepit old woman whom she met as a girl, and the woman, even though decades have since passed, still refers to her as Little Witch. This is an insult that will not stand, as the woman is now much stronger than she's ever been, and means to see unholy hell rain down on all in her path, including those from her past. My next favorite story is one called Petra Genitalics. It kind of reminded me of the X-Files episode Fallen Angel, where a crashed UFO gives people Chernobyl-like radiation, and then another X-Files episode, Space, where an astronaut brings back a malignant being with him from outer space. Mix those two with the film Annihilation, and you have Petra Genitalics. I don't want to say too much more about the actual story itself, because I think you'll enjoy picking it up and meeting the characters for yourself. It does follow two leads, though, and their chemistry is great. A master and student type of relationship. Will they be able to save humanity from a looming threat, or will it be the end of every living being? The next story, and probably the point at which I knew Witches was a masterpiece, is called Thief of Songs. The dreamlike state of this story, its flowing prose like leaves in the wind, Thief of Songs is art breathing life through writing, fantastical storytelling within a 30-ish page story, not only manages to convey a message of not taking what doesn't belong to one, but of the severe punishment wrought upon those who deign to take from a particular enchanted island. Witches is an acid trip in story form, and nowhere does that sentiment ring truer than in this tale. The passage of time represented in the changing of human shape into wildlife and the span of oceans of lifetimes. This story made me believe in more than the usual same old same. No lonely bachelors here, no harems, no over-the-top accidental boob squeezing, no truck goon or isekai. 
This is a reminder that not all manga is the same rehearsed trash. Those are just three of the six stories contained within this nearly 400 page collection. Daisuke Igarashi created what I genuinely consider to be a masterwork. I know I've already said that in this video, but it does need to be stated again. Please do not sleep on this one. The impact of some of these stories goes beyond medium. Bombs are dropped on a rainforest in order to kill a woman who has become one of the tree spirits. These men are willing to decimate all these living creatures from leopards to birds and frogs and other living things, plants and trees to kill one being because it is an inconvenience to them. If there was one thing in this whole collection that felt human, it was that man cares not for what or whom it harms, so long as it sees it as an inconvenience to humanity. Man is the most vicious animal, the most destructive, the most callous and careless. If there is one thing the second story does well, it's capture that. As I read through this collection, I couldn't help being reminded of the film Belladonna of Sadness. This movie was so unknown when I first watched it that you couldn't even get a DVD or Blu-ray of it for less than like $40. Now, it is readily available on Amazon for like $25. I was fortunate enough to have seen it one time while in California. I think this was around 2015. It was in an old 1920s cinema. The seats were trash, making my butt hurt from sitting on a steel chair for the film's hour and change runtime. Still, I was mesmerized, enchanted by what I was seeing on the screen. I was one of like 100 people that got to see this movie. It was an experience to say the least and one I won't ever forget, which has reminded me so much of that night, seeing Belladonna of Sadness, and I think it made this manga that much more special for me. I've been thinking going forward I'm gonna maybe be moving away from doing outros and whatnot because I, I've noticed that I kind of end up saying the same thing that I said at the beginning of the video and then that I said like during the, the, the point where I'm showing panels and then the video ends and I'm kind of saying, repeating the same things that I've already said. So it's like I'm saying the same thing three times in a row and there's really no reason to keep padding these videos out for super long. I just want to get the content out there and get the thoughts out there and so yeah from now on i'm not going to be doing these these uh end screen these end parts anymore unless like i have new information to present and i'll maybe just talk about whatever else i have going on and whatever else is coming up and there is a lot of stuff that i have coming up i picked up slasher maidens while i was in orlando and i read the first volume of slasher maidens and i'm going to be doing a why you should no, i'm sorry i'm going to be doing a let's talk about about sl slasher maidens and then I also picked up, I finally got my hands on the first three volumes of Summertime Rendering. So I was finally able to get my hands on the first three volumes of this series. And I feel really fortunate that I was able to get these. I got this one in Orlando. And this one I got from Amazon. And then this one I think I also got from Amazon. But I was looking for it in store, hope, hoping that I would get my hands on it. I'm kind of upset by this though. You know, it's like creased. That, that that hurts me. <laughs> that really does hurt. I'm not I'm not creasing it to be an asshole. Like it really is creased, and that kind of hurts me. That hurts my soul. But I'm gonna start reading this because I really want to do a uh, let's talk about about summertime rendering. Like I don't know anything about this story, and I don't want to know anything about this story. Like I like that I'm going in blind. But I am gonna do a <laughs> let's talk about about it for anyone that may want to know about it, and then maybe if I like it enough, I'll do a why you should read eventually. I have the fourth volume ordered, so I'll get my, I'll get my I'll have the fourth volume in my hands at some point in time in the future. And yeah, like so, I have Slasher Maidens. I have this. Um, I'm eventually going to be doing a Why You Should Read for Hitomi Chan is Shy with Strangers because I know I done a video about that, and it seems that people like that video. It was a let's talk about. So I'm going to do a Why You Should Read, and I was hoping to get my hands on Volume Five of Hitomi Chan is Shy with Strangers, but. The release date got pushed back to like September 20th or something. It was supposed to come out September 4th, which is really not that far from now. It's like maybe three three weeks from now. And yeah, it got pushed back. So I might end up pushing it up and just doing it, just doing the first four volumes, even though I kind of was hoping to wait for the fifth volume. But we'll see what happens there. And, and like I said, I have so much just stuff that I want to do. And behind me is prison school i'm going to be reading that in the next week or so so i can start recording my why you should read for my um let's reviews for prison school so yeah i mean i'm I have so much stuff just brewing and working and whatnot and i just want you to know that there's always new content 
coming out may not be every single week just because like i have so much going on but as long as i have stuff like stockpiled i may be able to keep you know doing the weekly stuff because like if i had to like just do the video that week and drop it that week it might not i might not be able to keep up the weekly schedule but i got lucky a few times where i was able to record like more than one video in a week and i want to do more with each video too like i want to make my videos look cleaner and feel just like i'm putting a lot of effort into them because I do put a lot of effort into it, and it may not, I don't know if it seems like I do or not, but it's a lot of work to do these. I'm glad that I ended up, you know, picking this up because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I figured I'd push it all the way up, and I'm, I'm glad that I did because this is such a good story. And I don't want to keep calling things masterpieces because I feel like the more I say it, maybe the less weight it'll begin to carry. But I do recommend this to, to no end. Please, 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 please read Witches. I have barely seen anyone at all talk about it. I think I've only seen like one person talk about it. Otherwise, I haven't seen a single person mention witches. So please go out there. Please support this. It came out an eternity ago. I think it came out like 2004. But it deserves to be read. It deserves to be consumed and loved because it is a labor of love by someone that absolutely cherishes what they do. So <laughs> thank you for watching this video. It means so much to me that you hung out with me if you sat through this whole thing that absolutely does mean the world to me it shows me that you care about what i'm creating here so before this gets any longer please take care of yourselves thank you for hanging out